I'm gonna start off my video with my oh I didn't even introduce it. Um feeding video. Um I'm gonna start with my halogens palcidons or whatever. Um, palcidons, yeah. Don't think it'll be on grid, but we'll see. It is alright, just very, very placid. They're really placid scorpions in general. It takes a lot to piss them off, as you can see. It's not fussed. Just shuffling away. Yeah, um. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna leave that in. Uh, leave it in, see if it eats. So, yeah, um. Back in a sec. So this is my Luf Lufus Diphorius species grease. I don't know if this one's going to eat. I'll have a look. Oh. I can't tell if it's just fell on it, although it's actually... Oh dear. Awesome. Loves watching scorpions eat, it's very cute. Yeah. Actually I This is a captive bred scorpion. Um so yeah. just leave him be to eat. And then we move on to the next one. Back in a sec. You can see right at the back my red claw. Um did notice that these are quite good burrows. Um my old emperor, which is long gone, um he didn't really burrow, so that's awesome. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna chuck one in with this one and leave it be. So yeah. Um moving on to the next one. Back in a sec. I thought I'd show again one of my um H. Pizzas as a female. Um, females are a bit better eater than the male, but to be fair, they're both crap eaters. So, yeah, okay, I'm just going to leave them be and move on to the next one. I'll show you a male as well. Back in a sec. That's pretty much what a male does constantly. Sits in his burrow. And that's about it. Never comes out. <laughs> So, did they actually eat this locust? Yep, actually ate this locust this time. Which is a shock. Yeah, ate this locust. Okay, back in a sec. This is my Vicularia species brew purple. Um, this is usually a good eater, usually tongue feeds now, so Luke. Very skittish though. I'm just gonna drop it in and see if he catches it. One, two, three. Oh, it didn't even drop. So I mean very skittish. Generally good eater though. I'm gonna leave it in with it. So I know it'll eat it. So yeah. Looking very, very gorgeous. Do we like this species? <coughs> Sorry about that, but real bad cough. Trying to cough away from teas, don't want, obviously, to get in near them. But yeah, very beautiful species, would advise it to anybody. Um, but I only buy grown on Avix, so I don't have my, I only have one, so yeah. Um, yeah. Locus is in there, um, they'll probably eat it, but yeah, at least we've got a good look at it. Okay, back in a sec. Um, I'm just going to show you these two. Um, I'll show them in the update, but I'm not going to show me feeding them because they haven't established a burrow yet. So it's going to be very hard to feed them. I'm literally going to water them and chuck some in. 
um, because I don't want them to bolt. These took me like between probably about an hour just to rehouse them because they're that quick. They're my Holofella Inti and my Holofella Inti Gold. Uh, that one's called Abra for a reason. It's a teleporter. So yeah, um, both of them, they're not going to be shown. She's dug a bit little burrow but she hasn't established one yet. So I'm not going to mess with her. And same with this little guy. Okay. Just like, sorry about that but it's just... If they hadn't established the burrow, I'm not messing with them because they're too fast and I can't bother to mess about at this time of night. So, yeah, back in a sec. Okay, so this is my Poliso Pelma species Bolivia. Um, these are like more of skittish, you have a species red. They're not too skittish, but um, that's what I think they are so far because it's not a very well known species. Complete one, please. Didn't you mean to drop it too far? If it's hungry. It's not looking like, like disgusted. But yeah, let me just prove how calm they are. Hey! Nothing at all. <laughs> yeah, I think this is going to be like my UFO species. As you can see, they do a little. It's very inquisitive. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna close this up and leave it be. But yeah, a very nice species. I'm very glad I got it. Very similar to the uh, Uaphis in my opinion now. So yeah, I'll leave it be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. So this is my tea um, she'll be hungry, see if it eats. Sorry that my slings are getting random sized um, locusts, there's literally, I've got a box of small and they're all random sizes, it's like some of them are massive, so this is one that I think is more likely to eat though, compared to my pea species Bolivia. Oh. Did I actually get it? No, it didn't. No, I'm not food. He is quite a good eater. I'll drop it in front of it, see if it goes for it. Nope. Okay, it's been skittish. Um, T Octi, um, I'll just leave it be because it is absolutely, f it's quite fast to be fair. Faster than I thought they'd be. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, so this is my Gramostol Full Cripes. Um, this did shock me last week as I dropped a locust in and it basically just owned it and I didn't catch it on camera so I want to see if it's hungry. Let's have a see. And the waiting game. Whee! Grandma stole the slings, seem to be really, really good eaters. Um, so my Duplo Cripes is and my Grandma Stole Amphrasina is pretty good as well. <coughs> Once they get past like a couple of centimetre mark, um, they seem to be good eaters from what I've read and seen, so yeah. Um, just gonna leave this one be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. Thought I'd show this. Um, T Octi 8. Um, I'm just gonna give mini updates as I go through and then at the end, um, give an update after like a day or two. Okay. Back in a sec. Pound for BTS 40 male. Um, I did try to spray its enclosure away from it, but it decided to walk into it. First, when I filled the water bottle, it went for that, and when I sprayed the opposite side, it went and attacked the spray. Uh, even though it was nowhere near it, and I could literally covered it up with my hand. So, yeah, I know this is going to eat. One, two, three. Oh. If it was in the enclosure, he would eat. Get in. See what I mean? He's hungry. That's all it is. Ugh, Christ. 
one, two, three, and I'll just come through them. That didn't work, really did not work. <sighs> well, grab it. There we go. Panther BTS 40 Smail. Very good eater. Um, really good display tees. Um, the males are at least. My female just hides away, but my male. Don't even decide to make a burrow because he's actually filled his burrow in that I made for him. And he just sits out in the open, not bothered. Okay. Back in a sec. By the way, I don't advise spraying tees. Um, it will stress them out. That's why I tried to cover it on my hand, but obviously, if they go under it, you can't help it. And he was hungry, and that's it. So, yeah. Back in a sec. Okay, so as you can see, I've sprayed on the side, but yeah. Nemphis, Intermedia. Should be hungry. Yep, jumped on it. I'm only going to do three more tonight, and then do the other shelf tomorrow. So yeah. Back in a sec. So this is my L clue gear. Um, she's very slow at the moment. I'll just see if she's bothered. Not too fussed about anything. She's gonna molt any day now. Um, very. She will turn round, but she's just really slow. I'm gonna leave her be anyway. So that's my last year Dora Kluge. She's in pre molt. Can't wait for this one to molt. It's gonna be great really cool. God, I want to know how big she is to be fair. Because uh, I think I measured the molt. And it were about it was nine and a half or ten and a half, and that were before I had her, because the malt was still in, in the enclosure, which malt for like two months before, which is a bit daft. But yeah, we'll leave it be anyway, and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. Uh, I'm just gonna fill up, feed my LP and um, my uh, Lassiodoro. Uh, I mean Pavlovitius. Fortis, and then I'm done for tonight. Come on. Are my tweezers back? Can I have my tweezers back? This it has a very good grip, I will give it that. Can I have my tweezer back? Thank you. I think it's very reluctant to give my tweezers back. Can I have them back? They're my tweezers. Night. 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 They're my tweezers. Go back into your lair. You've got what you wanted. <laughs> Lassie, uh, Lassie Adora, Parahide Bonner. Very funny little tarantula. Now it's hanging upside down. Oh, and it's back. Yeah, a very daft little <coughs> tarantula. Suspect male, but not too sure. Yeah, suspect male, but not too sure. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Back in a sec. So this is my big Pamphibetius fortis female. Um, got this from Stainer. Um, let's see if she eats. Does he? Yes. Let's see if she wants a second. She's quite a big tarantula, so... Should really be giving her two. Trying to grab one one handed. Just one handed on my head. Touch off any dead locust. Problem about having tubs of locust for a week is. Randomly dying. Even if you feed them, I'm proper having trouble doing this. Oh Christ. Okay, um. This cost us a locust molting. There's a dead one there, but it's plain dead. Yeah, it's really awkward. Should 
grab that as well. Oh. As you can see, it's the absolute beast. Not the biggest trench I own. Not, I think it's probably the second biggest. in a second okay so for tonight that's done um the only thing I'm going to do is the middle shelf obviously that's where I keep most of my teas okay back in a sec can't see it very well H N C gold eight and that's pretty much it oh Eldifus um L Duforius is actually nearly eight. Um, so yeah, all that too tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Back in a sec. Hello, um, this is tomorrow. I sound a lot more rough, but yeah. So I'm setting off on my GBB. Um, usually I was hungry, so that's. Let's see. <laughs> Bit of a delayed reaction, but... Come on. Just tempted. There we go. Wait for it to crunch. Go on. Nope. Yeah, well, no, she's out at least. So, yeah, that's my GBB. Um, back in a sec. This is my Nandu Chromatis. Um, should be hungry. Oh, didn't even have to touch it. Very good eaters, Nandu, as I always mentioned, but they are. Um, so yeah, just gonna leave it be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. So this is my Nandu Colorado Velocis. Um, looking absolutely awesome. Should be hungry. Let's see. Yep, definitely hungry. Um, so yeah, that's a she is freshly malted a couple of weeks ago. Very um velvety blacks. And looking very fluffy. Okay, we'll leave it be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my Brachypelm Bome. Um don't know if he's gonna eat. Um let's see. Escaped now. Got it. See if he's hungry. Where are the big tweezers? Nope. I'm going to take it out because I don't want to stress him out. That's definitely not hungry. Okay, we'll leave him be. Back in a sec. So this is my Amphipelma Calcodes. Uh, I'm not going to even attempt to feed her because I know she's in pre-malt. But these take forever to malt. So, I'm going to leave her be. And move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my Pecan Cerites male. And I know for a fact he'll eat. One, two, three... Lightning, but we haven't fully noticed it's there yet. When it moves, it'll hit it like a ton of bricks.
Like he's got his petty palps on it. So as soon as it moves, he will strike. Any second. Oh, now he's going for tweezers. I just moved in front of you, you stupid thing. I was just being a bit stupid. No, oh. oh, don't go for the tweezers. We'll drop it back in, see if it goes for it. One, two, three. Yep, see what I mean? You're just being stupid. Okay, we'll leave him be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. Um, this is my Campestoria Aatrox. I've only watered it. I'm not going to feed it because it malted the other day. So I don't want to take any chances. Um, it's fat anyway, so it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, back in a sec. This is my Grandma Soul Amphrasina. Um, she'll be hungry. Don't know if it'll eat live though. Let's have a see. Oh, yep. Yeah. It just took it down. Um, I mentioned with the Grandma Soul uh, um, pull cripes. Um, Grandma Soul slings. Once they get a bit bigger, they just get confident they'll take anything down. Okay, we'll leave it be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my Cryptodromus um, Puris Girl. Um, don't know if this will actually eat on camera. Um, don't think it has done before, but we shall see. No, it actually needs to be cleaned out. Fruit flies have laid eggs in some enclosures. I'll clean it out. Um, I'll feed it first and I'll clean it out tomorrow. Okay, let's see if it's hungry. Um, I do very rarely get it, but um, I clean them out pretty much straight away. But I want to feed this one um, if it's hungry. So, plus then I can just take. Um, I won't have to disturb it twice. Um, I can literally just clean it out and take any bits of locust out. Le what's left? So yeah, let's see if it's hungry. If I can drop this. Oh, yep. Yeah. Took it down straight away. Okay, we'll leave that one be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. Um, I'll do a separate video on this, but my um, last year Dora Stratopus is malted. Um, I knew it was gonna, but I didn't think this it would be this soon. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it be and um, I'll do a proper malt video after. Okay, back in a sec. So this is my male cyclostern and pentalor. Um, should be hungry. But let's see. Might be a timid eater like my um, fasciatum. Uh, I'm gonna leave it in with it. I'll give an update on this one later. Okay, back in a sec. There's my holophily sanguiniceps. Um, Suspect pre malt, but I want to chuck it in and leave it be because um, I don't want this one to bolt. It has established the burrow, but Ooh. I don't know if it's just fret posturing or if it's actually going for it. Just fret posturing. Okay, I'll leave it in with it, and then I'll give you an update on this one later on. Okay, back in a sec. Um, this is my K Bunny Peeps. Um, it hasn't established a burrow yet, so it's quite dangerous. Dangerous in the fact is it's very, very fast. These um, rival Holofellies, um, very fast. Let's see if it's hungry. Oh! See what I mean? I'm literally going to catch it, put it back in, and leave it because it's stupidly fast and I'm not messing with it. Okay, I'm going to get it back in and move on to the next one. Wish me luck. Back in a sec. This is my Spar Boffrey Hoff Manny. It does look like it's in pre malt, but I'll see if it's hungry. Oh, yeah. 
different than pre-malt. Just looks really dark. But to be fair, um, I think it was this one. Um, it ate and then malted like three days after. So, bit of an odd species. Okay, I'm going to fill up this water bowl and leave it be. I'm back in a sec. This is my Femictopus platus. Uh, quite calm for a Femictopus. Um, it's a little juvie male. Um, see if he's hungry. Yep. Everyone's been really good feeders today. Um, I'm quite shocked. Only a couple haven't eaten. Um, okay, I'm going to leave him be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my Uafa species yellow. I'm reluctant to take the lid off because she always wants to come out and play. Um, She'll eat. She actually has eight before. Um, I'll just have to get her back in. Okay, I'm going to get back in. Back in a sec. Okay, some people say to me, Oh, you say that um, Psychosternum species are really vicious. This is my C. Pentalor. I only got her the other week. And now I'm going to try and take the water bowl out. And she's behaving, which is a shock. I have it. I'm trying to get the stuff out of it. Very skittish, but very vicious at the same time. Um, I'll do. Okay. Um, I'll feed her just after. I'll fill the water bowl up, grab a locust, and chuck it in. Um, I just feel sorry for the male <laughs> I've got because he's going to have his work cut out with this female. Okay, I'll just fill up the water bowl back in a sec. So that's my C. Pentalor again. Um, should be hungry. Um, can't see why it wouldn't eat. It is being quite calm to say, it's usually vicious as hell, but... Uh, can I have my tweezers back? Not too sure what she's doing at the moment. And there we go. Quite calm for her today. She's usually quite vicious. What's my species yellow doing? waving to me. Okay, we'll leave her be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. Here's my C. fasciatum. As you can see, this is the adult female C. fasciatum. I don't think she's going to grow anymore. Um, and my Psychostern and Pentalor is pretty much fully grown, the adult female. Um, you can tell they're a lot stockier built. A lot stockier. Let's see if she's hungry. She thinks she's a trap though. Close those up. Yeah, my guinea pig's been eating the whole for the whole thing. Yeah, so she's down there. She's become a lot confident more eating now then, since she's dug out that hole there. Because before she was quite skittish. Oh man. He's not even out, so I can't even show you it. Um, I'm trying to get some of my guinea pig. I've got one thing left to feed and then I'll give you an update tomorrow night probably. Because um, most of the stuff she'll have ate by then. Um, and yeah, um, so yeah, moving on to the next one. Back in a sec. This locust literally just jumped into the enclosure. This is my locust species, Columbia Large. Uh, large form pumpkin patch. Mature male. Sometimes mature males eat, sometimes they don't. I think this one's going to eat, to be fair. Looking absolutely awesome, to be fair. Shame is a mature male, but um, I'm a bit reluctant of letting this one go. So I really do like him. I think he just wants a female, to be fair. Yeah, he'll 
just want a female. Yeah, I'm going to leave it in William because he might eat it in his own time. Okay. Back in a sec. I mean, yeah, I'll give an update um, tomorrow night. So that's when you'll next see me. Back in a sec. Well, this is the, like, update on my feeding video. Um, I thought I'd show something off as well as show a tea while I'm talking. I was going to show my Pyramphetes Fortis female, but she does not want to come out. Um, so you can see, I haven't got a flash on, but um, you can see the tea really clear. That's because I've got a desk lamp. Um, I've just bought that to improve the quality of my videos because it makes it a lot easier for me because my f phone will last a lot longer when filming the video quality will look a lot better because phone flashes always make it look a bit naff and it just um, it makes my phone overheat quite a lot using the flash so it just stops that from happening um, so yeah this is just an update on what's ate and what hasn't so I'll just put the lid back on just she doesn't seem too fussed. Do you want to come out? Nope. So yeah, um, what shall I show? I'll show this because it's out. Shouldn't get too much players of the tank. Yeah, I do. Put loads. That's not too bad. Um. Okay, so the T's the eight, and the scorpions the eight. Or my Hadrogen's Polysens, uh, Powerlysens, whatever, that eight. Um, Pandinus Cavimanus, which is the red claw, eight. Um, what's that now? Oh, yeah. Um, L. Deforius, eight. Um, P. Species Bolivia, eight. Holophila Inci, eight. Um, Holophila Sanguiniceps, eight. The male HPTC, eight. The Vicularia species Peru purple 8, Uafa species yellow 8, and the Pamphobetes fortis 8, both of them locusts that I put in. Um, I'm just showing you that, uh, I'm just showing you this, this is a couple of days after. Um, the H Inci actually only ate last night, and that was left in two nights, so that's why I leave locust in. Locust and uh, I think ro certain species of roaches you can leave in and it won't do any harm. Um, my K bunny peeps didn't eat back, could, could be because she hasn't established a burrow yet, so she can be quite shy, or it is looking like she might be in pre molt. Not complaining there. The clover species, um, Cumbia large, hasn't ate. Um, HPTC female didn't eat, and the Psychosternum pentalor didn't eat. The male, at least. Um, I'll bring this into the shot. And um, just because I want to talk a little bit about males quickly, and then I'm done. And um, by the way, the Cryptodroma species Puriscal, I'm gonna rehouse in a second, and I'm actually gonna video it. Um, so yeah, Cyclostone and Pentalor. And um, just what I'd say about this one is. It seems like males that are penultimate, um, this is just my personal experience, they don't seem to eat pretty much at all, um, either due to pre-malt or just they're not interested. Um, like my Bibomi, uh, doesn't eat too much anymore, and he's been, he, I know he's penultimate, but he's not in pre-malt. Okay, bunny peeps is just wandering around, very nice species. Um, my Hypothesis species, obviously when they mature, um, they do lose their appetite a lot more. My C pen, um, my focus species Columbia Large just isn't eating, and I don't think it will, to be fair. Um, still up for trade if someone wanted to trade it. Um, so, yeah, that's just that. Um, a little word on that. That's just my personal experience. So, yeah, um, I don't think there's anything else I can need to mention. Um, that's pretty much it. So, it's just an update on what's eight. So, yeah. A quick recap, I've only shown the ones that hasn't ate. Sarkaston and Pentalor didn't eat. Um, K Bunny Peeps didn't eat. Purple Species Columbia Large didn't eat. And the HPTC Female didn't eat. Um, this one, I think it's because it's a immature male. I mean, because I think it's penultimate, could be in pre -alt. Um That's obviously a mature male. Scorpions are temperamental eaters as it is. 
and the K Bunny Peeps. Um, I just think it's in pre malt because I can't really see, but there's like a black, uh, you can pick it up a bit. Where there's a little like gold highlight, you can see like a little black spot, so it does look like it's in pre malt. So, this is some of the best footage you're going to see of a K Bunny Peeps ever. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it be and move on to the. Ah, oh, move on to that <laughs> Talking rubbish. That's the end of the video. So, yeah. So, people. Bye.